Using Euler's formula, we want to find the two roots or two complex solutions of c squared equals negative 2 plus 2 square root 3i. Euler's formula expresses a complex number in the form of x plus yi in exponential form, which is the form r times e raised to the power of i theta, where r is the modulus or distance the point x comma y is from the origin. This is the same r in polar form, and the angle theta is the angle in standard form or standard position whose terminal side contains the point x comma y. Because we are looking for two roots, we need to provide two Euler forms or exponential forms of the complex number at negative 2 plus 2 square root 3i using two consecutive coterminal angles. In this video, we will use the least positive coterminal angles. To begin, we need to plot the point negative 2 plus 2 square root 3i on the complex coordinate plane, which is the point negative 2 comma 2 square root 3, which I've graphed here in blue. Notice I've also sketched the reference triangle. Let's begin by determining r. r is equal to the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared, where x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 2 square root 3. Simplifying, we get r equals 4. So the point is 4 units from the origin. And now let's work on determining the least positive angle with the initial side along the positive x-axis and the terminal side passing through the point negative 2 comma 2 square root 3, which is this angle here. And there's a couple of ways of doing this. Looking at the reference triangle, this reference triangle is a multiple of a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle because negative 2 is a multiple of 1. 2 square root 3 is a multiple of square root 3, and 4 is a multiple of 2, which means the reference angle, this angle here, is 60 degrees, and therefore the first angle theta is equal to 120 degrees, which is equal to 2 thirds pi radians. Another way to find the first angle theta using the reference triangle is to find the arctangent of the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side on the calculator in degree mode. We want to have the calculator in degree mode to make it much easier to recognize the angle. So notice how here the arctangent of 2 square root 3 divided by negative 2 is equal to a negative 60 degrees, which gives us the angle in the fourth quadrant. And since we're looking for the angle in the second quadrant, we have to add 180 degrees, which also gives us 120 degrees. So either way, our first angle theta is equal to 2 thirds pi radians which means the next positive coterminal angle is equal to 2 thirds pi radians plus 2 pi radians, which is equal to 8 thirds pi radians. And now we have the information we need to write two exponential forms for the complex number negative 2 plus 2 square root 3i. We substitute 4 for r and theta equals 2 thirds pi radians as well as theta equals 8 thirds pi radians. For the next step to find the two square roots or two complex solutions, we need to find the square root or one-half power of these two exponential forms for the complex number. And let's show this on the next slide. We will call the two roots z sub 1 and z sub 2. So notice how here we have the two exponential forms of negative 2 plus 2 square root 3i raised to the one-half power. And now simplifying, 4 to the one-half power is equal to the square root of 4, which is 2. And then for e to the 2 thirds pi i, we multiply the exponent by one half, which gives us e raised to the power of one third pi i. And now to evaluate this by hand, we write the exponential form in polar form, which is this form here, where r is equal to two, and theta is equal to one third pi radians. For the next step, we need to find the exact trig function values for cosine one third pi radians, as well as sine one third pi radians. And we can do this using the unit circle or reference triangles. Using the unit circle, remember x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. And here we have pi over 3 radians, or 1 third pi radians. And therefore, cosine pi over 3 is equal to 1 half. Sine pi over 3 is equal to square root 3 divided by 2. Or again, we can also find these trig function values using the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle. For the last step, we distribute the 2. 2 times 1 half is 1. 2 times square root 3 divided by 2 is equal to square root 3, giving us plus square root 3i for the first 
root of first complex solution. Similarly, for z sub 2, when we multiply the exponent on e by 1 half, we get 4 thirds pi radians. Converting to polar form, we now have to find the exact trig function values for cosine 4 thirds pi radians, as well as sine 4 thirds pi radians. So again, we can find these using the unit circle or reference triangles. Going back to the unit circle, here we have 4 thirds pi radians, where the cosine function value is negative 1 half, and the sine function value is negative square root 3 divided by 2. Distributing 2, we get the second root or second complex solution, which is negative 1 minus square root 3i. Now I do want to mention on this example, if we did try to check this on the calculator, we would want to make sure the calculator is in complex mode and also back in radian mode. But notice how when I entered the two roots in exponential form, we only get a decimal approximation for the square root of 3. So unless we have an algebra system on our calculator, it is important to find the exact trig function values as we did. I hope you found this helpful.